Good morning, YouTube family and friends. Hope you had a great week. I had a really good week. I'm on my cruise on the Carnival Magic. And today is our last day at sea and we're back at port in Miami tomorrow. Hmm. That's okay. This is my fifth cruise this year and I got two more to go. So yeah, it's all good. Uh, today is Saturday. September 14th, 2024, and this is my week 25 unofficial results being back on Mount Jaro. And if you watched my video from two weeks ago when I was on the Carnival Celebration, you know that when I'm on a cruise, I consider that weigh-in as unofficial because your weight is always different on a cruise ship. So, yeah, it was still... It was a good week. Uh, my generalized myasthenia gravis behaved itself this week for the most part. I only had a couple of instances, in, you know, situations where it wasn't anything major or anything, but it did flare up a couple of times, but not much, not bad. My eyes have been behaving themselves this week, thankfully. I've only had a couple of instances where I felt like when I was walking a little type of deal. Uh, but that's it, and for the most part, my eyelids haven't been droopy uh, a little droopy every once in a while this morning they look a little droopy both of them look a little droopy but not not bad not bad at all and it could be because I just got out of the hot shower so but yeah it's been a good week here let me just spat around so I can show you my balcony and you see the Atlantic Ocean over there it was a good trip good cruise this is, I do my cruises solo for the most part my last cruise I did have my nephew on me but in general I do my cruises solo so yeah so I did a lot of walking and sweating this week Ooh, especially in the ports we had San Juan Puerto Rico Amber Cove, Dominican Republic, and then Grand Turk and Turks and Caicos. So if you want to see some of those videos, you can go ahead to my other YouTube channel, Cruise with Sean. And you'll see some good videos there. Then Monkey Land and Amber Cove this time. And that was an awesome, awesome experience. I think you'll like that video if you go watch it there. But anyway, you're here to talk about my health update and my weigh-in. So yeah. Just like two weeks ago on the Carnival Celebration, I weighed in this morning on, at the gym on the 12th deck. And it was the same weight as two weeks ago on, on the ship. It was 238. So if you count that as an official weigh-in, I gain weight, but I said I don't because I said you always weigh more on the ship. And that's it's not necessarily because you eat more or whatnot, because I said I, for the most part, I control my eating. I, one or two days where I ate probably a little bit more than I should have, but like I said I was doing a lot of walking, a lot of walking up hills in San Juan because I did a walking tour. I sweated my butt off on each location, on each port. So yeah, it's just you're you're on a different scale and you're on a ship. So it is what it is. Uh, just like last, hopefully, just like last time, you know, when I weigh in next Saturday when I'm back on land. I've been back on land for almost a week. That will be my true way, and hopefully it'll be just like last time where I'll weigh in a lot better. So, yep. And officially, that's my weight this week. This week is 238. So, but I'm not threatening. I'm not threatening over it. All right. So, yeah, I don't have a whole lot for you. I still haven't heard from my neurologist's office yet, which is irritating. It's... I've been checking my emails. I don't have access to phone, but I have access to the internet. And I've been checking my emails because you, you know, when they try to call me or they'll post a message on my CHI chart, that whatever they did, and I've got no messages from them. So they're supposed to be trying to get a, a peer to peer review with my insurance company to see if they will uh, get them to approve my main course treatment for my GMG. and. I haven't heard a word from them, which is very, very irritating. So, when I'm back at home on Monday, 
I'm going to give them a call and say, what the heck? Were you able to reach out to the insurance company? Do you have a peer-to-peer -peer review set up? Did you already have it? Do they still turn you down? If so, what's the next course of treatment? And what are we going to do? Very irritating. So, and I haven't heard anything from the uh, ENT office. They're supposed to, they're setting up a final test where they put me to sleep for a little bit and monitor how my throat collapses to see if I qualify for the Inspire implanted device for sleep apnea. So I can do away with this damn mask. I hate the CPAP. Last two nights in a row, last night I, I averaged 9.7 episodes an hour uh, according to my CPAP machine. And the night before I was 9.1 episodes an hour. That's episodes of stop breathing. So, yeah. <sighs> it, anyway, I love having sleep apnea. So, all right. So, that's the good. That's all I really got for you this week. I'm going to do my shot. Namjaro 5.0 dose, NG dose. Alright, so we're gonna take the cap off. We'll see the needle inside. You wanna move it to the unlocked position. And then you wanna do it in your two inches away from your belly button, your arm flab, or your thigh flab. I always do my stomach. So there we go. Did this side last week, so I'll do this side this week. Alright, so I'm doing so you can see the needle, hopefully. Alright, so about, about right here looks good. So you can hopefully see the needle. Get a little closer here. Push the button, you'll hear it click, and you'll see the needle go in. Then you'll hear a second click, and you'll see the needle retract, and that's when it's done. And very quick. So here we go. done no blood no little drops this time it was a nice clean entry and exit and that's it that's my mount Daryl shot 5.0 for week 26 because today was week 25 results so starting week 26 of being back on mount Daryl all right folks that's all I got for you today uh, just remember to enjoy life. You don't know what life is going to throw at you. I'm living proof of it. You know, I have non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, which turned into liver cirrhosis. But thank God my liver is still functioning good, even though it's really, it's really fatty and it's scarred. It's still functioning like it should. Uh, I've lost, at one point I lost over 80 pounds. Uh, I lost like 85 pounds one point that I gained some of it back now that's I'm doing this journey again so and I, I am a diabetic I have type 2 diabetes uh, being on Mount Jaro has definitely controlled that my last A1C was 4.6 so it's definitely under control under Mount Jaro that's why I'm on Mount Jaro and then I'm getting the positive side effects of weight loss as long as I do my part of it it's not a magic pill. You still got to eat right. You got to drink plenty of water and you got to try to get some exercise in. You do those three things along with Mount Jaro, I guarantee you, you will lose the weight on top of controlling your diabetes. This is awesome. All right. Enough preaching to you. you you're, you're grown adults. You know what to do. I know it's easier said than done. Trust me, I've been battling this for decades. Ah, but, all right. Just tell your loved ones you love them. Enjoy life to the fullest. Hang out with family. Hang out with friends. Don't work yourself to death. I'm someone who used to work myself to death. I work two jobs. I still work two jobs, even though having this GMG has prevented me from working my second job uh, of driving Uber. Uh, I can periodically depending on how my eyes are and I'm not too tired at the end of the regular work day because I work on a computer all day long and that kills my eyes, especially with this GMG. So it's a struggle to bring in that second income, which is hurting me financially big time. So and I had planned all these cruises when I would bring in a decent second income. So now my income is dried up from that second job for the most part. And yeah, it's putting a strain on me right now. But 
these vacations were already bought and paid for. I'm only paying for my extra spinning on the ship. So, so that's all good for now. We'll see what next year holds. So, yeah, but that's all I got for you. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit your like, hit your like button. And if you want to make sure you get notified of my other weekly videos that I post and some odd midweek videos every once in a blue moon, uh, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And if you want to share this video, go right ahead. That way more people can have access to it that might need it to know my journeys of my liver disease, my generalized myasthenia gravis, which is an autoimmune disease that affects your voluntary muscles, and my diabetes. I don't know if I said that once, I'll say it again, diabetes. All right, folks, y'all have a great week, and I will catch you on the flip side next Saturday, if not sooner. You know, if I hear from the doctor's office or if I reach out to them and they give me some more information, I'll let you know possibly in a new video. And then if you want to see my cruise videos, again, go ahead and go to my other YouTube channel, Cruise with Sean, S-H-A-W-N. And you'll see some awesome videos on my cruises. So, all right. And on this channel, early on before I made a second channel, you'll see my awesome cruise videos from last year, which is one has my Alaskan cruise on it. So go, go to my history on this, on this page. And you go to the last August, you'll see awesome videos on my Alaskan cruise. You won't, you won't regret it. There's some awesome stuff on those videos so all right that's all i got for you y'all have a good one bye bye